morning viewers, I'm Monica Francisca from POCA National Breaking News, bringing you the last news for this week. We will start with the first news from Merdeka Palace. Last Friday, our President Joko Widodo met with social media marketing professionals at the Merdeka Palace. They are entrepreneurs who have used technology to make a significant impact on society, including Gojek owners, Tokopedia online shopping store owners, and Traveloka online travel agency owners. According to the Minister of Communication and Information Technology, Rudiantara, these entrepreneurs provide a lot of input to the government regarding accessibility, regulation, and logistics at the meeting. He also said that it was predicted that there will be an increase in e-commerce revenues of up to the 320 billion US dollars by 2020. Besides that, the president also supports the idea of establishing an entrepreneurial forum that utilizes social media for business. The next one, we have good news from the Indonesian tourism sector. The Indonesian tourism promotion was held in London to coincide with Indonesian participation in the World Travel Market WTM London this year from 5 to 7 November with participants 350 from most black taxes and 15 city tour buses supporting the wonderful Indonesian advertisement. They use pictures of tourist attractions in Indonesia such as the beauty of Lake Toba, Mount Bromo, Borobudur Template, Komodo Island, and also pictures of Raja Ampat complete with its attributes. In WTN, the wonderful Indonesia brand is promoted by highlighting the most tourist destination through at least two light boxes, eight banners, 30 floor stickers, and 15 digital screens. And we move to the last news. Recently, a famous journalist who is also the creator of the documentary film Left Behind, Christoph Puzzle, became a draft lecturer for new students from three private universities in Indonesia, Rita Harapan University, Venus University, and Trisakti University students at the event Indonesian New Student Festival. In this event, he broke material about his experiences at the beginning of his career as a documentary filmmaker, which eventually results in a documentary about eight orphans from Nairobi, Kenya, which later become very remote. He starts his career without having any knowledge of film, just with a little experience with a National Geographic employee who sat next to him on his flight to Kenya. Then he took a year to edit the recording to produce the film. Through this story, he motivates students to always have the courage to start, dare to take risks and get out of their comfort zone so that their life can progress. He closed his speech by affirming that world travel was the best education he has ever had. It will make us smarter, more conversational, and have a perspective that we have never once had otherwise. That's all the news for today. I'm Monica Francisca. Thank you for watching and happy weekend.